channel, folks. Thank you for being here. My subscribers, I do appreciate you. And please, feel free to subscribe if you've not already done it. Uh, today, we are going to be clocking the rings on the pistons. And I'll go over a few things with you. And we're putting them into the jugs. These are brand new pistons that I'm going to be using in the current motor that I'm putting together. So let's take a look. Come on. Here first is really cool. That was used about 45 years ago in uh, my dad's garage. He gave me a lot of his old stuff. He unfortunately passed away in February, but I had a lot of his old uh, tools you know, that he had passed along to me. So that bring back memories when I'm using stuff like this. Uh, okay, so these are, where's the little insignia? Those are AA pistons. And I'm not splitting the case on this motor, as you know. There's no reason to. It's a good running engine. But I am refreshing it with new pistons. And uh, I reconditioned the heads like you've seen in the uh, last videos, lapping the valves, fixing the studs, you know, things like that. So, but first things first, some of you probably already know this, but there is an arrow. That arrow points to the flywheel. That's the direction the pistons should be installed in, where the arrow is pointing to the flywheel. As you see, that is 86.95, which is 87 millimeter. Uh, I know a lot of people say don't run them. Uh, they're too thin, blah, blah, you know. But are they right? Probably. But I know many people that have ran them for many years. And this motor is only going to be in for about a year or two because I'm building uh, one fresh uh, a large motor we'll put it that way with a brand new block so anyhow that's what's going on here and uh, we'll get the, set up get the jugs ready to install so I'll at least run through this with you and how to clock the rings and everything so stay tuned here give me a second to get set up okay first things first now as you see on the jugs you have a flat side all right, you already know that though, but I'm going somewhere with this. All right, so we are at the motor. This is the flywheel side. So cylinder one, two, and three, and four, okay? So obviously I'm gonna do this jug first, technically speaking, it's gonna slide on there. Flat side in, of course, where the pistons meet each other, so to speak. Okay, so when you do this, you're going to want the arrow pointing to the flywheel. So what I'm going to do is clock the rings on this first one. This one will be number one. So I'm going to put a little dot here, you know, just like one dot with uh, white out that I took from my wife's office. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and clock it and get it ready. And that way, when I do each jug, I can grab them quicker and put them on knowing which cylinders they're going to go to. Not that you will not see the arrow, it's just because I'm weird. Okay, so here is a little chart I'll show you here for clocking the piston rings and oil ring. All right, so I wanted to show you something up close. Your bottom one right here. find my thumb can't see in the damn lens that right there see how it looks different <laughs> that is the one that will face 12 o'clock okay and then the other two will be at 10 and 2 you can do 9 and 3 I'm just doing 10 and 2 because but the bottom one, that's the little connection you want to look for right there. I'll point to it one more time, right there. That will face at 12 o'clock. The other one's 10 and 2. Okay? Got it? Mm-hmm. Okay. This time I was smart enough, since I know I'm going to be pounding, not to put the little tripod on the workbench. So... It shouldn't bounce you around unless I bump the camera. So, let me clock 
There's my dog barking. 10. Come on, get around there. All right, 10 and two. I'm not happy with that one. Right there, right there. Okay. Yep. They're like that, right there. I know you can't see it, but you know what I'm talking about. Don't ya? Okay. We're gonna take our antique oil can air out of it there I just filled it and we're going to put some oil inside here let's lather it up pretty good You're not gonna hurt anything that's for sure and you can see there's oil in there there's oil everywhere okay so I'm gonna put a little oil just around the rings there, just to help it along. I'm probably overdoing it, but I overdo everything, so it is what it is. Okay, double check. Arrow to the flywheel. This is number one piston, which will be like that. Let me see if you're in the camera. Yeah, you are. That will be number one arrow pointing to the flywheel. So, double check. We got one at 10, one at two. Oil scrub at 12. Let me try this. I haven't done this in a very long time. Okay, so we're gonna put it like that. Gonna put this on here. Little handy dandy ring compressor I borrowed from my buddy. Okay, set that in. Okay, make sure everything's right there. I think grab that far enough. There we go. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. it. Now, once you've done that, I'm weird. I gotta clean everything constantly. Okay, once you've done that, you want to push it down through. See the wrist pin? A little bit more. Right there. Okay, there's your wrist pin. Don't do it too far or you're gonna be pulling it back out and doing it all over again. Now, being this is number one cylinder, all right? And this is going to be towards the inside between number one and two. So I want your snap ring on this side of it because once you get it on there, you're gonna be putting the wrist pin in this direction. That should make perfect sense to you, hopefully, okay? the snap ring on I want to show you something I bought at Lowe's I bought a pair of channel lock brand channel locks and it comes with all the extra little fittings and they're snap ring pliers I'm sorry my brain went elsewhere these things are extremely heavy I mean heavy they were $29 and they are nice check this out flip of the switch and they're inverted the other way. Flip back. I like these. These are very nice. Where's the package? Let me see here. There's the package. They're nice. I'm very happy with them. It's better than the crap ones I was using before. So no, I do not own Lowe's. I'm just trying to help people out, but there's all extra tips in there. So. Okay, sorry, I get excited when I find a nice tool. Okay, so there's your snap ring. Okay, let me try to get in between the camera. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm trying not to hit the camera, but I want you guys to be able to see it. 
get it down just a hair more. Okay, so get that on your snap ring, compress it together. I'm gonna try not to get in your way here if possible. Okay, now I'm gonna get a baby screwdriver. Here's my baby screwdriver. Bad, bad. See? Okay, take your screwdriver and just go around it. Make sure it's seated all the way. I heard a little click, so I don't think it was. Okay, just make sure it's seated. And that's it. Your snap ring is in there. I'm gonna spin it a minute because I don't like the way it felt for some reason. It's probably just me. Well, spins nice. I'm weird. Don't pay attention to me. I don't trust stuff. Okay. It's in the slot. Okay. And that is good. Now, being that's number one piston, that snap ring is in because your piston... Here, I'll take you towards the motor. Okay, see what I'm talking about? That flat side... You're gonna have the flat side from number two going on and you can't get to that ring after that. So when you put it on, you're gonna be sliding your wrist pin in from that direction and use your clutch alignment tool to slide it in and you'll go ahead and put that in. Okay, so that's one out of the way, okay? And when you do that, make sure you clean the inside of your connecting rod really good and I'll show you it because I'll be doing it in the next video. Put a little bit of oil in the hole, a little bit of oil in the hole, and then of course, oil up your wrist pin, and then you'll be sliding it in from the other side. But I'll show you a detailed video, of course, you know I will. So let's do one more on film, and then I'll let you go back to drinking beer or something, whatever you're doing. All right, so the next one we're doing will be number two. And then the, the, I won't show you the last two, I'm just trying to make a point here, okay? So there's number two. Your number one's gonna be there. So your flat side's gonna be in. And I'm telling you this for a reason, because your snap ring will go on this side so that you can pound in from that side. I'm sure 95% of you know this, but if I'm helping one person out there, it makes me happy, so, okay. Okay, arrow to the back, let me hold this here, okay, so arrow number two, base inside, I'll clean this up later, everything's crappy, all right, now make sure you're still in the viewfinder, yep, you are, ooh, that's not much rolled off the table. That would have been bad, very bad. Let's push it through. We got our wrist pin on. See it coming through? I'm just tapping very gently. Just enough right there. Okay, and you see where that's at. Now remember, that's number two. This is on the inside. So that's where we're going to put the snap ring in place. Let me grab my, I like these. Okay. Wait, I seen something I didn't like. Make sure that's clean in there. There we go. It was clean, thought I seen something. I guess I didn't. Okay. Okay. Give it a little screw.
screwdriver. Make sure it's seated. There, I can spin it a little bit. It's in the slot. Alrighty. And what I like to do till I'm ready is I just put a little squirt on there, lather it up a little bit. So I'm not putting them in the vehicle today. And I just kind of slide them in there so I know where they're at and they don't get all crazy. Alrighty. And come on, stay still. Take the white out that I took from my wife's desk. I don't think she'll want that back now. But okay, just doink, doink. That's number two. You don't have to mark them. I do because I'm strange. Okay. All right. And then I have them setting over here on a clean cloth, but you could see number two, number one, and that's number two pointed to the flywheel. That's just sitting on its side. Number one pointed to the flywheel. They're both marked. I got the wrist pins kind of just sitting in there partially. See what I mean? You want the snap ring in there and there, because once you put them on, you're not getting to that side. You'll be sliding in from the outside. And we'll be putting them on in the next video with the head installation. Okay, folks, that's it. That's clocking the rings and installing the pistons into the cylinders. I hope I was descriptive enough. I try to be and show you things close up so that you can see them properly. Uh, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and please share the channel to get it out there. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks. Have a great day.